I was able to test the pre-order items for God of War Ragnarok thanks to a code from Sony and we got the Jotnar edition with the deluxe edition item codes ourselves. And damn, these might be some of the best items in the game. There is an axe script that allows you to chain multiple Frost Awaken attacks together and an armor set that gives a huge boost to how quickly you build up rage. So let's go more in depth on these special items and how to best use them and then pray that they become available to more players later on. A like on the video would really help us out, subscribe for way more God of War Ragnarok content and let's go. So before we get to discussing the actual armor sets, it's good to know that both the pre-order and the deluxe edition items will not appear in your inventory immediately. First, you of course have to enter the code if you've got one with your game and by checking manage game content on your dashboard, you will see if the items are usable. And if you then boot up the game, you will be able to gather your items from the lost possessions chest, which you get access to after visiting Sindri's house for the first time. So you really don't have to wait long before you can use them. You receive all armor pieces and gear pieces if you have the deluxe edition at level 1 regardless of where you are in the game. But the neat thing is that unlike other armor pieces, these items all have their perks unlocked from base level. Which means that equipping the Risen Snow pre-order armor when you get it at the start of the game is a significant boost in power over any armor you can find or buy at that point. Provided of course you adapt your playstyle to work around the perks on the set. And even though the look of this set is a reskin of the Gip to Mother set you unlock much later into the game, I really dig the white and gold touches here. Although knowing Kratos, it's not gonna stay that shiny for long. And unlike most armors, the Risen Snow set will also not change its looks after upgrading it. Atreus also gets the Risen Snow tunic, which is just a reskin for his base attire with some more pale tints added to it as well, so it's not all that interesting. But luckily, the perks on Kratos' armor are. And you only find them on this armor set and they reward a very fun playstyle in my opinion. The wrist and waist pieces boost your stun damage to airborne targets by 20% for one piece and 40% if you equip both of them at the same time. And then it's just a matter of launching enemies airborne and following up with strikes to build up stun. There are many moves and techniques in the game that launch an enemy into the air and most of them also listed in their description. Like here you see it in the description of the frozen ascent skill for the leviathan axe and the fully charged shield slam from the stonewall shield also notes that it launches enemies. And once airborne any incoming attack will have its stun buildup increased even Atreus' arrows. So it's actually really smart to save your sonic arrows for when you knock an enemy airborne to then build up massive stun damage really quickly. I got some amazing results when I paired that tactic with the onslaught shield which we also mentioned in our video covering all shields in the game. Link to that one will be in the video description. But yeah the charge on this shield launches enemies airborne after which you can stun them with an unarmed combo and some sonic arrows, finish the enemy off with a stun finisher and then immediately charge on towards the next one. So if you ever wanted to turn Kratos into an angry freight train, this is how you do it. And if you've been wearing the full armor set, you might notice that the Risen Might buff pops up from time to time when you launch an enemy. That is actually the perk on the chest piece, which as you probably already guessed by now, can trigger when you launch an enemy. It has a high chance to activate based on your luck and it increases your strength and stagger resistance for a short duration. So you can use some of the moves I mentioned before to make use of it, but by experimenting with different skills, you'll discover that some attacks that don't have launch in their skill description still trigger the buff. Like the Scorched Earth skill for the Blades of Chaos, for example. Also nice is that luck is a stat that appears on all pieces of this armor set, so by upgrading it, you are further increasing the chance that this buff will trigger on a launch. But the downside is that the buff only lasts for 4 seconds, meaning it's pretty much only useful for your follow-up combo and not much else. So instead, I found it way more useful to pair the Bracers and Waste from the Risen Snow set with the Need of Valir chest piece you get from an early side quest in Svartalfheim. We made a video on that one for if you want to know how to get it, which we will link to in the video description, but the quick stun buildup on airborne enemies and the healing you get from this chest piece on a stun finisher work really well together. And if you've thought that the combination of this pre-order armor set was already good, then wait until you see what Sony decided to give everyone who owns the deluxe edition items. It's really insane. I already think this Darkdale armor looks amazing, I'm really digging the bulky shoulder plates and the overall gold color on all of the pieces. It's a reskin of the Steinbjörn armor that you get really late into the game, so this one already gives you a cooler version of that armor, but pretty much right out of the gate. Atreus gets a similarly colored armor set, which is also a reskin of another armor you unlock for him later in your playthrough, but still, this variant looks pretty cool too. And again, it's especially the unique perks that steal the show here, as they all kind of feed into each other as well. Let's start with a chest piece, which gives you health and rage back when you kill an enemy during your Spartan Rage. Since the attacks in Spartan Rage already heal you, you get even more health back if you also kill an enemy and the rage on kill is immediately added 
added to your rage bar, so it effectively means you can stay in Spartan Rage for longer if you also kill enemies. And if you're already a bit further into the game and have unlocked the Wrath Spartan Rage, so the one that triggers a high damage attack with your currently equipped weapon, you'll find that the perk triggers off that too. So since the ability already gave you health on kill, you now get even more health back and the Rage Burst already brings you closer to your next activation if you manage to take an enemy down. But it becomes even better if you add the buff from the wrist and waist pieces into the mix. With both pieces equipped, you increase the rate at which you gain rage when attacking status afflicted enemies and when using runic attacks by 40%, which is very noticeable. So you want to make sure that you build up a lot of status on an enemy quickly with a relic like the Hilt of Thaneslev for instance, or the Mists of Helheim runic attack that also quickly builds up frost and generates more rage thanks to the armor set as well. Jordan covered both of those in a recent video, so go check that one out if you haven't already. But there are of course also ways to build up elemental damage without having to wait for cooldowns like the whiplash attacks from the blades or the glacial rake skill for the axe that you can already get very early on. And especially that last one can build up a lot of frost as it can hit an enemy multiple times and if you complete its skill challenge you can further increase the elemental damage by selecting a skill mold. And then you open up on a target with this move often freezing them instantly and then you can go ham and build up your rage really quickly. I got another trick you can use to build up even more rage but first let's cover the cherries on top which are the blades handle and the axe grip as both of those further boost your ability to apply elemental damage. The axe grip has a very cool unique perk on it that triggers when you kill an enemy with a frost awaken skill which are the weapon techniques you either already have unlocked at the start of the game or the ones you unlock really early on. Killing an enemy with one of those will trigger a frost shockwave that staggers surrounding enemies and applies a little bit of frost to them as well but more importantly it immediately reapplies the Frost Awaken buff on the axe, allowing you to chain two of these moves together in quick succession. And this even works on the ranged attack, so you can follow up a charged throw with a Frost Empowered melee attack or vice versa. And obviously, all of these attacks, as well as the shockwave you trigger when killing an enemy with a Frost Awaken attack, build up a lot of Frost. So if you're wearing the armor set as well, you get more rage from attacking these targets, which in turn allows you to benefit from the chest pieces perk even more. The handles for the blade fill a similar role because if you kill an enemy with a whiplash attack with this item equipped you will send out a burn shockwave and you will increase how much burn status you inflict on enemies for a short duration. 8 seconds to be exact. Since the base attacks from the blades don't build up that much burn because they are very quick the increase is really noticeable and really useful too. Mostly of course because setting these enemies on fire means that you get more rage from attacking them too. So yeah I really love this armor but it's really sad that only people that bought a more expensive edition of the game can use these items. I hope they make them available for more people later on and we will of course keep you posted here. And like I promised there is one more trick that you can use to get even more rage with this Darkdale armor set. Stick with me as this one is a bit complicated and if you have any questions after this let me know in the comments below. So this trick revolves around the Furious Immolation skill for the blades. You'll need to upgrade them to level 3 which you can do after defeating a main story boss during the Vanaheim story arc and then this skill lets you consume your Immolation charge which is the one you build up by attacking without being hit. When consumed, your attacks apply burning explosions and generate more rage, which then stacks on top of the buff from the Darkdale armor if the enemy is also suffering from a status effect. The fun thing is, this charge up mechanic actually carries over between both of your weapons. So you can build it up with the axe, freeze an enemy with Glacial Rake, and then switch to the blades to trigger Furious Immolation and massively boost your rage gains per attack. I love how these perks make you chain your abilities together in a smart way in order to get the most out of them. And as you can see, it's really powerful too. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our God of War Ragnarok videos as we still have a lot more coming your way. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one and if you want, you can watch our previous video on more armor sets with amazing perks by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.